let's add some credits to your lens. Now one quick note before we begin. Um, and some people might have uh, mixed feelings towards including credits in the lens. Uh, sometimes it can be obtrusive and uh, every lens will have a little info button up in the top left that you can click to expand, view greater info. Uh, so technically these aren't needed but a lot of people do like to add them because uh, it's a little more direct and if you're really trying to grow your followers through your lenses it might help you gain more followers. Um, I don't know how much it actually helps but I do know this is um, used quite often by lots of creators, so I just thought I'd make a quick tutorial as to how to add this. Um, even if you aren't using it to promote your own username, um, maybe you did a collaboration with someone and you want to help call that out, or uh, maybe you just have some instructions you want to be up briefly. Uh, there are lots of reasons why you might want to have some text that fades out. A common use case is asking people to subscribe to you, uh, but there are other, uh, you might see more legitimate use cases um, where you could use these same techniques. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start with just a blank project, uh, but this is really easy to add to an existing lens as well. So up here in the objects panel, we're going to add some screen text. Uh, this will be the actual uh, credits. So let's rename that to credits. And then we're going to add a helper script tween manager. Now, once this adds, we're going to have a bunch of junk we need to remove. So just expand this and remove the examples. And then drag that up to the top. Now we're also going to add a behavior script. Uh, we don't want that nested, so just click, drag, there we go. Um, I want to keep under the tween manager. Just because I like the tween manager at the very top when I have it here. And I'm going to rename this to credits controller, but it can be whatever you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our text set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on full frame region and I want to make sure this is set to safe render. So full frame means that anything inside of here um, it can fill the entire frame of what you have in Snapchat. But if you look over here we have all this interface at the bottom and at the top and the safe render makes sure we don't stick anything too high or anything too low. And since these are credits, we want to make sure they aren't hidden. So now I can click on this uh, text object. I can scale it down. Um, you can add it wherever you want. I'll keep it here at the bottom. And I'm just going to add models by Mike 3D. Let's change the font size. And then also horizontal overflow. I'm just going to put shrink just in case for the reason. Uh, it's on a screen that gets narrower. So let's also add a custom font. So I'll just grab one of the built in ones. VT323 is that digital looking one. Uh, let's give it a cool color. Uh, let's go blue. And let's add an outline. So all this is optional, it's just however you want your text to look. All right, so our text is added but any snap that the user takes is gonna have those credits and that's, I personally don't want to see this on every snap I take. So we're gonna make sure it, one, is never present in the snap and then two also fades out after a while. So up here on the credits controller, uh, this behavior script, uh, this is what we're gonna to use to make sure it never shows up in recording. So the trigger, we're gonna change that to recording start uh, always allow response type will be set enabled. We'll grab our credits text and we'll set that to disable. So as soon as the person takes a snap or starts recording, these credits will disappear. So on the final snap, it's nice and clean. Now I'm going to add a component of the script. 
add script. I'm going to come into tween, tween types, tween alpha, and I'm going to use this to fade out the credits after some number of seconds. So scene object, I'm going to do this on credits. And I want to go from one, so fully visible, to zero, which is fully transparent. And now all I have to do is just choose how long I want this to be visible. So the time is how long the transition takes. So I'm going to change this delay to three. Now after three seconds, the fading will start and then it's gone. So the behavior script um, will hide it if they take the snap before the um, four seconds are up or three second delay plus the one second transition. Uh, and if they take the snap after it's already faded, it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, so you can change the easy function. Um, so they're all uh, just kind of speed of how fast it fades out. Uh, one kind of fun one is bounce. As you can see it kind of flickers. It works a little better if your time is lower. So we'll give it three seconds. Now it should kind of flicker out. And so that's all you need. Uh, so these errors here, I don't know about those. That was when we were kind of deleting those tween resources. Uh, we can reset the lens, make sure that fades out nicely. Um, now the last note, when you are submitting your lens, um, there are lots of lenses with kind of these credits in the preview, but technically Snap doesn't like them in there. So come over here, disable your credits, Project Info, um, add a lens preview. So I'll just choose the first one here. I'll apply it. Now I can turn this back on. And the preview won't have my username in there. Uh, so it'll make sure it definitely gets approved by Snap. Uh, but now it's enabled here. So in the live lens, it will be present.